What's up? Saturday, September 29th. This is Blog 75, and I'm Steen, your host. Sorry, I took a little longer than I thought. I was hoping to post a couple days ago. It's a decaf. Don't worry. I'm good. Anyway, it's been a crazy, I guess, week. Yeah, a little more than a week. And I taught my first class, I think. Did I talk about that? I don't know. Taught my first class. Taught class um, three times. Yeah, three times. So I'm, I'm running with it, and I'm going with it. And it's extremely stimulating for my brain space because I'm in a constant scramble to prep for what I'm going to teach and writing my curriculum, which I'm still doing. And I guess I've surprised myself, and that's part of this process, right? Showing up, continually, constantly showing up, showing up for yourself, showing up for others, and it feels really good to be doing it. It feels really good to have not <clears throat> kind of taken the same off-ramp I would always take, which is to get out of something or to not face it. And so instead of turning off, I have continued forward and I'm learning new things about myself. So that's super positive. And, excuse me, <clears throat> one second here. What are you doing? Apparently he wants these. So he's trying to tell me something. Bud, I gotta give the cat a hairball treat. I know, what? What up here? Anyway, I'm here with Chester, the cat, who needs a hairball treat. Enough that he would pull it off the shelf and throw it onto the ground. <clears throat> yeah, so it, that all feels really good. I was really terrified, and I realized that the best way to address being terrified is to just prepare. And I get anxious about what I'm going to teach or about what I need to do, and then if I write it out, I'm cool. And I realize that's a, in general... Uh, that's a way to deal with anxiety for me. So I'm going to try to apply that to other things as well. The dog's here now too. Hi, Wapa. I wish she, I could show you her, but I can't really pick her up. Or can I? Let's oh. oh. just show the people the big doggy. Oh, look, he's like 66 pounds. Oh, okay. You ever have those days where, like, <clears throat> it's shot day, and you're just kind of on fire, and even before your shot, but then you have your shot, and you're like, I gotta get some stuff done, and I gotta pick up my dog, and I gotta pick up my cat, right? And you gotta, like, do things. <clears throat> so that's kind of what today's like. Uh, what else do I have? I don't have a ton. I am just getting through this process with this teaching thing, and it's kind of amazing. I don't know, just to be challenging myself. The other thing is, uh, haircut. I will say, I mean, this is not a tea update, but, um, you know, the hairline's receding, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't want to be bald, but... It's thinning, but I like the look. I like I like the shape. And with much shorter hair, there's this illusion that my facial hair is longer. Uh, the other thing is I'm kind of more on that now, now that I'm like kind of interfacing with people as part of my job. I kind of keeping myself all cleaned up. So I don't know how No Shave November will go. It'll just be like intermittent trimming November. I am looking forward to it. And uh, one other note is that I am um, training again. I'm training with Jaden. I'm trying out his style. I uh, recommend Cody as well. So I've been doing a different style of thing. So it feels good to be back in the gym and using that as my... It's like a reset for my headspace. And it feels good to feel strong again. I had slacked. And to feel like my posture good and all that. So... I highly recommend if you're thinking about working with a trainer, um, both Cody and Jaden are awesome and I 
I love it. So that's been a positive and it's been worked really well with how I'm trying to com not compartmentalize, but how I'm trying to schedule my life. So anyway, I think I'm going to keep this really short. Uh, in the intro, I think I might have shown you my coffee making ritual and time lapse and I will be back next week. That should be a tea update. Uh, that will be, that'll be a long time. I'll figure out the math on that. I'm not in the math space right now. So I hope you're well and doing well, feeling well, happy fall, which it feels great. I don't know, I love fall, it's like my favorite. So it feels like a little bit of relax and a little bit of reflect and a little bit of trudge forward. So have a great week. I will see you next week, bye.